Well, welcome to uh, today's adventure. We're in the garage here, and we've got the uh, the 2019 900 Ace Renegade Turbo uh, in the shop. I pulled the side panels off, uh, and then I figured I better get um, started on the video. Obviously, these just slide off. There's nothing there. Um, next thing is the uh, windshield. Um, these are some of the best takeoff windshields there are. You, there's basically just rubber grommets here, here, and on each side. And then the thing just pops off and comes right off. So, uh, we're going to get this out of the way. Um, anyway, the reason we're in here is this thing's not running right. Um, it's throwing a check engine code, uh, tons of turbo flutter. Uh, not sure what's going on. Uh, it seems like maybe I've got some water in the gas. I have refilled the tank and rode it after that, and I still have the same problem. So I'm hoping this is kind of like the uh, jet skis we have with the same uh, 900 Ace in them, and that, you know, this is going to be its fourth season, and this thing probably needs a plug change. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cowl off. I have never done the cowl on the wide body. Um, you know, I've done it a bunch of times on my 800 E-Tech. Uh, but this is the first time on the wide body, so we're going to learn as we go. No doubt I'll probably take some stuff off that I don't have to or vice versa. Um, but I'm going to get the cowl off so I can get access to the plugs. And I'm also going to look for a place to plug in the tuner. Um, to see if maybe I can read the engine codes. I'm hoping, and I haven't verified this at all, but I'm hoping that my tuner I use for the jet skis, which I thought was up on the shelf here, is going to be the same tuner that works on this. It's the same engine, so I would assume it's the same. Anyway, I'm going to grab some torque spits, and I'm going to just start taking stuff off until I can figure out how to get this top off. So uh, I'm going to grab a torque spit, and uh, we'll be right back. Well, now that that's out of the way, I think I can see why we don't have our headlight assembly loose. There's an 8 mil here, an 8 mil here. And I'm thinking that after that, this is going to come off. Probably I need to take these two out. So I'm going to go get a socket. I'm going to take this one off, this one off, this one off. This one, this one, that one and that one, and that one. And I'm thinking that's gonna free this whole front end up. Took an extra second, grabbed an impact gun here. We're gonna zip these out as fast as we can, hopefully. So far, those are all the same. Same. Okay, those, luckily those are all the same size. You see, there's a screw down here on each side, another torque. So I'm gonna pull that off and see if that isn't our problem. Man, I hope you guys appreciate this video because if I save anyone this frustration, that would be good. There we are. Man, maybe this whole hood's coming off. And a wire or something. That's holding me in place. Ah, air box. Right here, air box clamp. I figured it hadn't been on here somewhere. These air boxes, if it's anything like the, uh, the 800, a big pain in the ass to get lined back up when you try to put it back together. Sweet! Look at that. Once you have all the screws out, this thing comes off. Basically, I guess I didn't need to try to get the headlight off because it comes off together. So I definitely didn't need to take this screw 
or this one or this one or this one out. Uh, looks like I probably didn't need to take that one out right there. Obviously this push pin did not need to come out. So right now it looks like I took one, two, three, four, five, six screws and a push pin out that I didn't have to because I didn't need to get that headlight assembly off the top of that hood. Okay, well the hood's off. And here is the glorious inside of this thing. Okay, so this looks exactly like the jet ski. Here's the, here's the coil pack sitting on top of the plug. Um, these, uh, there's a Torx bit that holds it down and just unhook that. So right there and right there. <laughs> here's the turbo. It's gotta be the world's smallest turbo. Look at that thing. That's just nuts. It's so cool. Everything looks fantastic in here. Clean. There's not even really any debris in here. A couple leaves. You know, this has got a really nice grill system on it. And the intercooler is perfectly clean. That's just what's so great about snowmobiling is you're out here in the snow and you don't have dirt everywhere. Okay, something interesting here. This center coil can't actually get out because the steering arm's in the way. So what you have to do is just turn the steering wheel all the way passenger and then the coil slides right out. You can see now it's actually in the way to get to the other coil. So now I'm gonna turn all the way driver, get this thing out of the way and get that last coil out. All right, well, after I dropped a 15 millimeter socket down there, I learned that it's actually a 14 millimeter. And luckily I have this really nice 14 millimeter socket for spark plug removal on KTM engines. Uh, it's got a little swivel built into it and everything. And this thing is the money for getting down in here on this, on this engine. So um, if you don't have one of these fancy sockets, I am sure you can do this without it, but this is uh, definitely worthwhile. Um, I got one, I got the uh, driver one out so far, so I marked it with a one so I could look at them later, but all in all, this plug looks really nice. These look expensive. But uh, we're going to pull the rest and see what they look like. Okay, I got all the plugs out. Um, on that last one, I just used a short extension uh, to get underneath the the, the uh, frame bar here and no problem at all. So one long extension for the other two and then a short one for that one. No big deal. Anyway, I was looking around and uh, look at what I spy. This plug is just hooked into a piece of plastic. And voila, I am 90% sure that's the guy that plugs into my tuner. So, we're going to see what happens here. That looks good. Okay, wow. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we can get this fired up and see what we can learn. So, I'm going to throw some battery terminals on and uh, we're going to see if, uh, if we can read anything at all. All three plugs, I got to tell you, uh, I'm not happy, but they all look pretty nice. So... Unfortunately, that could mean that it's not a plug issue at all. All right, so I went in the house, plugged the map tuner in to my computer. I got an update, you know, firmware updates and all that stuff. Everything looks good. I come in here, I can see here's my vehicle. I named it 900 Ace Turbo. And uh, I went in and I did a service and it read the codes. And sure enough, I had a cylinder one misfire code. So, I am going to go with the fact that I got a spark plug problem because I doubt it's a coil pack or anything like that. It just, it just doesn't seem like that's probably the case. So anyway, good news. This Map Tuner X that I bought for the jet skis is paying for itself because I just diagnosed this thing and I just reset the fault code in this ECU. Um, of course... It also means that if I want to, 
I could throw a 195 horse tune on this and not tell the wife that I did that and see how it uh, behaves the next time she gets on it. I do think I might get in trouble, but we'll see. First things first, before I start messing with tunes, I want this thing purring. I'm going to get it. Uh, new plugs, uh, and then we're going to see if we can run this thing without getting any misfires. So, off to the ski doo shop I go. Well, just got to the ski doo store, got me some spark plugs. It was $54 for three of them, but I suppose that ain't nothing because, well, I took the wife's truck, and I don't know if you guys have a wife, but... Sure enough, I get in her truck and there's no gas in it. I guess it's my fault for getting in her truck, but mine's still hooked to the trailer from yesterday. So the $54 in plugs is nothing because now I gotta fill this thing up and of course it needs 89 octane. So we'll see what this is probably gonna be a hundred bucks. Alright, I guess I was wrong. It's only 97.23. Alright, we're leaving the gas station here. We're gonna let traffic clear. We're going to rail on this thing. Let's see how hard of a pull we can get off this thing. Turn the traction control off. We're going to see what happens. I never uh, push this truck hard, so we're going to see what's going on. Let's see what the old 6.4 can do. All right, well, we're back to uh, reassembly. I already have the number three plug in and the coil on it. And then I've, uh, you know, moved stuff out of the way here, turn the steering wheel, get to number two. Um, I'm torquing these spark plugs to 104 inch pounds, and I'm doing the coil bolt to the same, 104 inch pounds. I am putting a tiny bit of anti-seize on the threads of these plugs. I don't know if you need to or not, but I figure it probably won't hurt. Um, anyway, I looked everywhere in order to find the torque spec on this. The best I could come up with was it was about 8.7 foot-pounds. That comes out to about 104 inch-pounds. Um, so I'm going to do that. And they feel like they're getting nice and snug. Um, I'd say they didn't feel that tight when I took them out, for sure. I was quite surprised at how loose they were. So anyway, uh, we're doing 104 inch-pounds on these. I'm going to get uh, the center one in. We'll get that one on. And then we'll start getting the, uh, the hood back on, try to get everything bolted back up. All right, well... There she is, purring like a kitten again. Instrument cluster looks nice. It's nice and smooth. <laughs> yeah, feels right again. Let's see, let's put her down in eco mode. Up into sport. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. I feel like that is a fix. Make sure you put this plug back into its holder here so that you don't end up with water in that. All right. Well, I forgot that while I had this thing apart, I was going to try and wire in that optional 12 volt accessory here in the glove box. I went to the ski -Doo dealer and I guess I forgot all about the fact that I wanted to see if that was something I could have picked up there and wired that in while I had this thing tore down. But I didn't do it. So now I guess. We'll save that for next time. All right, I'm just gonna get this wire here clip back on. This slides into a clip on the back of the instrument cluster right here, this uh, wire loom here. And then I'm going to put the glove box back in. We should be good to go. 
is these tabs that need to go onto here. And this needs to cover, you know, the wiring and such. So I'm going to set the phone over here and we're going to see if we can get... Put some registration stickers on this thing. We'll put them up front here, I think. Now that the state of Michigan has uh, finally gotten to the point where our stickers are not the size of placards, we can put somewhere on this machine without too much trouble. I think maybe even there. I don't know. Maybe right here would be fine. So, anyway, we're going to get that figured out. We'll clean up the spot and get them on. Uh, recap, we are good to go. Running beautiful. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helps somebody get the plugs changed in their uh, 900 Turbo. And uh, as always, like and subscribe. Thanks.